Was Shakespeare, the world-renowned playwright, really who we think he was? A question that continues to baffle historians, scholars, and literature enthusiasts alike. Welcome to our exploration of the life and works of arguably the most influential writer, William Shakespeare. Our journey begins in 16th century England, a time of great social and cultural upheaval. Amidst the political intrigue, religious conflict, and artistic revolution, a man named William Shakespeare emerged. His skillful pen created some of the most memorable characters and narratives in literary history. And yet, the man himself remains shrouded in mystery. Who was William Shakespeare? Was he a singular genius, a mere front for an anonymous author, or was he a collective pseudonym for several writers? These are but a few of the theories that have been proposed over the years. Some believe that Shakespeare was a pen name for a nobleman who wanted to remain anonymous, while others argue that his works were written by a group of writers. The controversy doesn't end there. The authenticity of Shakespeare's works has been questioned too. Did the man from Stratford-upon-Avon with a modest education really write the complex, philosophical and eloquent plays attributed to him? And then there's the question of his personal life. What do we truly know about the man behind the quill? His love life, his family, his motivations, his fears. Despite the countless biographies, studies and speculations, much of Shakespeare's life remains an enigma. In our quest to understand Shakespeare, we will navigate through the labyrinth of his life and works. We will explore his early years, his rise to fame, the period of his life referred to as the lost years, the height of his success, his final years, and the enduring legacy he left behind. So sit back and prepare to journey through time to the era of Elizabethan England, where we will attempt to piece together the puzzle that is William Shakespeare. Let's delve into the life of this enigmatic figure and try to unmask the man behind the legendary name. Shakespeare's tale begins in the humble town of Stratford-upon-Avon. In the heart of England, on the banks of the River Avon, the world's most celebrated playwright was born. His birth, in the spring of 1564, marked the beginning of a story that would captivate generations. William Shakespeare was the third of eight children born to John and Mary Shakespeare. His father was a prosperous glovemaker and local official, while his mother hailed from a well-to-do landowning family. Despite their respectable status, the Shakespeare's lived a simple life, far from the glamour and grandeur of the royal court. Young William attended the local grammar school, where he studied Latin and the classics. The profound influence of these early lessons is evident in his later works. These modest beginnings were a stark contrast to the fame and fortune he would later achieve. From these ordinary beginnings, none could have predicted the extraordinary life that lay ahead. Between his childhood and his emergence as a playwright, Shakespeare disappears from history. This enigmatic slice of time is often referred to as the Lost Years. Spanning from around 1585 to 1592, these seven years remain shrouded in mystery, largely due to a lack of factual documentation and historical records. So what might the Bard have been doing during this elusive period? That's a question that has sparked numerous theories, each as intriguing as the other, painting a fascinating tableau of possibilities. One theory suggests that Shakespeare could have been honing his craft in provincial theatres. This hypothesis proposes that he could have been travelling across the country, expanding his repertoire and gathering the experiences that would later breathe life into his plays. Another theory, a more adventurous one, posits that Shakespeare might have been a schoolmaster in the countryside. This could explain his extensive knowledge of classical literature and his uncanny ability to translate complex human emotions into eloquent verse. Yet another conjecture takes us down a darker path, implying that he might have been laying low, evading the law for poaching deer in the estate of a local dignitary. This theory, while a tad scandalous, adds a dash of rebellious charm to Shakespeare's character. Some even propose that he could have been a soldier, a sailor, a butcher, or a horse attendant. The list is as diverse and varied as the characters in his plays. However, despite the myriad theories, the truth remains elusive. The lost years are a puzzle, a blank canvas on which we can sketch our own version of Shakespeare. This period, devoid of factual evidence, invites us to imagine, speculate and wonder. These conjectures, while fascinating, are just theories. No one truly knows what Shakespeare was up to during those seven years. But this mystery, this enigma, 
only adds to the intrigue and allure of William Shakespeare. And so, we are left with a tantalizing void in the timeline of one of the greatest playwrights the world has ever known. These lost years add to the enigma that is William Shakespeare. Suddenly, Shakespeare emerges in London, making a name for himself in the world of theatre. In the late 16th century, the city was a hotbed of creativity and exploration, and it was here that our bard found his true calling. Shakespeare's early plays, such as The Comedy of Errors and Titus Andronicus, showcased his unique blend of wit, drama and poetic language. They captivated audiences and critics alike, setting the stage for a career that would reshape the world of theatre. His work was a breath of fresh air, a departure from the norm, and it wasn't long before his name became synonymous with excellence in the dramatic arts. But the road to fame was not a smooth one. Despite his growing success in London, Shakespeare's personal life was marked by hardship and tragedy. Back in Stratford, he was a husband to Anne Hathaway and a father to three children, Susanna and the twins, Hamlet and Judith. Yet his work often kept him away from home, causing a divide between his personal and professional life. In 1596, a blow struck that would leave a deep imprint on Shakespeare's life and work. His only son, Hamnet, died at the tender age of 11. This profound loss is thought to have influenced some of Shakespeare's later works, infusing them with a depth of emotion that only personal grief could inspire. While his plays were gaining acclaim, Shakespeare himself remained a figure shrouded in mystery. Despite his fame, little was known about the man behind the words. He was a master of the stage, Yet his own life was a play of its own, filled with as much drama, comedy and tragedy as any of his works. This enigmatic persona only added to his allure, making him not just a playwright, but a legend in his own right. While his plays were gaining acclaim, Shakespeare himself remained a figure shrouded in mystery. Shakespeare's success continued to grow, with his plays performed for the highest echelons of society. The maiden performances of his works were often graced by the presence of royalty, nobility, and the creme de la creme of Elizabethan society. His words echoed through the hallowed halls of power, resonating with the human condition, irrespective of class or status. It was during this time that Shakespeare penned some of his most renowned works. Hamlet, Othello, King Lear and Macbeth were born of this period, each a masterpiece in its own right. These plays, with their intricate characters and complex narratives, revealed the depths of human nature and the heights of dramatic literature. Shakespeare's association with the Globe Theatre played a significant role in his success. As a stakeholder, he not only wrote for the theatre, but also had a say in its operations. The Globe became synonymous with Shakespeare, and it was here that many of his most famous plays were first performed. Its iconic structure, a testament to the grandeur of the Elizabethan era, was a fitting stage for the bard's dramatic genius. During this period, Shakespeare also enjoyed the patronage of King James I. The king's admiration for Shakespeare's work was well known, and he often commissioned the playwright to produce works for royal events. This royal endorsement further solidified Shakespeare's standing in society, elevating him from a mere playwright to a celebrated figure of the arts. Despite his fame and success, Shakespeare remained an elusive figure. He was a man who lived through his works, each character a fragment of his imagination, each story a sliver of his mind. His life, much like his plays, was a tale told by a genius, full of sound and fury, signifying everything. And yet, the man behind the words remained a mystery, a puzzle waiting to be solved, a story waiting to be told. In his later years, Shakespeare retired to Stratford, where he lived until his death. Opting for a quieter life, he bid adieu to the bustling city of London and the grandeur of the Globe Theatre. Public records suggest that he made several business transactions during this time, indicative of a prosperous retirement. As Shakespeare planned for the inevitable, his will, penned a month before his demise, was a testament to his life. He left the majority of his estate to his eldest daughter, Susanna, and his second best bed to his wife, Anne Hathaway, a gesture that has puzzled historians to this day. Shakespeare passed away on the 23rd of April, 1616, but the cause of his death remained shrouded in mystery from typhus to alcohol poisoning to a rare tropical disease, numerous theories abound, none conclusive. Even in death, Shakespeare left us with a mystery, his enigmatic epitaph. Shakespeare's legacy extends far beyond his death, influencing literature and culture to this day. 
His plays, sonnets and poems continue to be the cornerstone of literary studies with a timeless appeal that transcends borders and languages. Despite the passage of over four centuries, the popularity of his works remains undiminished. They have been translated into every major living language and are performed more often than those of any other playwright. From the grand stages of Broadway and London's West End to school productions and street performances, Shakespeare's tales of love, tragedy, comedy and historical dramas continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Yet the Bard's legacy is not confined to the theatre. His influence permeates our everyday life. He enriched the English language, coining hundreds of words and phrases that we use without a second thought. From fair play and heart of gold to wild goose chase and the green-eyed monster, we owe much of our linguistic richness to this master wordsmith. Shakespeare's identity too has been a topic of ongoing debate, adding an element of mystery to his enduring legacy. Was he really the son of a glove maker from Stratford-upon-Avon, or was William Shakespeare merely a pseudonym for another? Could the works attributed to him have been the collective efforts of several writers? While these questions may never be definitively answered, they serve to keep the Bard's name alive in discussions and debates. Moreover, his works continue to inspire countless adaptations, reinterpretations and scholarly works. They serve as a mirror reflecting societal norms, values and human nature, thus making them eternally relevant. In essence, Shakespeare's legacy is as vast as it is varied. As a playwright, poet and linguist, he left an indelible mark on the world that continues to resonate in our literature, language and collective consciousness. Like the man himself, Shakespeare's legacy is both profound and mysterious. So, was Shakespeare really who we think he was? That's the question that has tickled minds for centuries, and it's the question that we've been trying to unravel in this journey through his life and works. We delved into his early years, a time of formative experiences, and the budding of a genius in the small market town of Stratford-upon-Avon. We ventured into the lost years, a period shrouded in mystery, giving rise to numerous theories, each more intriguing than the last. Was he a schoolmaster in the countryside? Or was he honing his craft in the bustling streets of London? Our journey led us to his remarkable rise to fame, a testament to his extraordinary talent. The world of Elizabethan theatre was forever changed with his entry, as he penned plays that would echo through the corridors of time. His height of success saw him create masterpieces such as Hamlet, Macbeth and Romeo and Juliet, stories that continue to resonate with us today, centuries after they were written. In his final years we saw a man who, despite his fame and success, was as human as the rest of us. He faced personal tragedies, yet his pen never ceased to weave tales that explored the depths of human emotions. And finally, we touched upon his enduring legacy. His works have transcended time and geographical boundaries, influencing literature and culture around the globe. His plays have been translated into every major language, performed more often than those of any other playwright. Yet, despite our efforts to understand him, Shakespeare remains an enigma. Questions about his identity, his works, even his existence, continue to fuel debates. Was he the man from Stratford, or was he a pseudonym for an aristocrat or a group of writers? While we may never know the full truth about Shakespeare, one thing is certain. His works will continue to captivate us for centuries to come. This journey may have ended, but the exploration into the world of Shakespeare is far from over. After all, the play's the thing wherein we'll catch the conscience of the king.